Hello everyone, let's create this uh, 3D wooden block. We'll begin off with the lower part, then we'll do uh, this uh, two upper sides, then we'll do the uh, behind part, and then we'll join everything using the, the uh, 3D uh, uh, addition command. So I'll begin off by coming to my CAD program, then I'll change the workspace to uh, 3D modeling. Then afterwards, I'll come and uh, press my home tab from the view. Then afterwards, I'll come to the... Uh, so this side is the front part. This side is uh, the left part. Then uh, the top is whatever you view from uh, the top, which is the plan. So I'm going to draw this particular shape from the left view. So I'll come to my left part. Then whenever I change uh, the view cube, I must come and change the coordinates to, uh, to view, like so. Then I'm going to model this part. So I need a line. Then they're separated from one another. And the first edge and the second edge, a distance of 40. Then the overall width from the bottom to the from the bottom edge to the top edge is 15. So I'll come and have a line. Make sure I have my bottom on. I'm going to give it a distance of 15. And then I need to offset this line a distance of 40. So select it, offset it to one side a distance of 40. Then I'll have uh, Put my oblique snaps on. I have my top edge and bottom edge as such. Then I'll offset the bottom edge a distance of 8. So I'll come to offset a distance of 8 as such. Then I'll offset at this uh, vertical edges a distance of 8 and 8 as well. So 8 this side and 8 the other side. So I'll come to offset distance of 8. So that one and that one. After finishing that, I'll come and trim my geometry as such. So that I obtain that particular shape. So the next thing I want to do while I'm still at that view, I want to draw this trapezoidal shape. So it has a distance of... Um, 40 at the bottom and then uh, from that point going upwards will be a distance of um, uh, 40 minus 15 which is 25 so I'm going to draw 25 and 40 so I'll come and draw 25 then 40 then afterwards, I'm going to draw this part which is 3, this part which is 15. Then I join off the two ends. So 15, this side 3, then I join them. So I'll come again, draw from the end point, 15, enter. Then enter again, and draw a vertical point this side, a distance of 3, enter. Then enter again. Then I'll join that point to that point as such and I'll have from this part of 15 this one of um, 25 40 and 3 in height so what I'll do next I'll select everything then type join then press enter so that I join everything together same to this select everything and then type join then enter so after doing such I'm going to convert this into 3d by giving it a principle so for the lower block I'm going to give it a principle of 72 then for the upper block which is this I need to form two of these so for the first one 
I'm going to give it a preschool of, of uh, distance equal to so this is uh, this will be uh, eight so this is 16 plus uh, so from here this is the center so the center from the center of this to the end it should give me 40 48 eh? I mean 24 so to get this particular distance eh? I'll take uh, 24 minus the radius which is 8 then minus this distance which is 8 so that to get that this point is 8 as well even it's indicated here so I need to give it a principle of 8 so I'll come to the home and then while I'm here I'll uh, change the view cube to to UCS world as such, then I'll come to the press pool command which is found here. Come to this bounded area. Come to this bounded area, give it a press pool of eight, and enter. Then for this, come to the bounded area and give it a press pool of 72, then enter. So after having that, the next bit, the next bit is uh, this back side so the back side has an overall distance of, from this point 8 plus the for this other side 8 which is 16 plus the plus the diameter which is 32 so i'm going to model that part as well but that part will be modeled from the front so i'll come to the front view make sure i change my uh, coordinates to and then uh, I'll come and model that particular block. So the block has a length of uh, 32, as you have found out, and uh, a height of 40 minus 15, which is 25. So I'll draw a rectangle of length 32, height 25. So rectangle, first dimension is 32. Then the next dimension, I press tab, then press 25, then enter. Next off, I want to draw a circle <coughs> from the midpoint of the top edge, and it should have a radius of 8. Then I press enter, come to trim, and uh, trim off the edges that are not required. Then later on, join, join join all these all together as such then i'll go back to home then i'll give this a press pull to give it this thickness a press pull of eight so come to press pull select the uh, bounded area then give it a press pull of eight and enter after doing this i'll copy this so that i have the two parts so i'll come to copy Copy this 3D solid, then I'll choose one corner as the base point and I'll copy it to some other plane as such. Then afterwards, I need to join them all together. So I need to begin with these two. So as you can see, the two are uh, separated by a distance of 12. And again, 12 from the other side. So I have a reference for that. So I'm going to draw 12 from this corner to give me a, yes, a reference point. Eh? So I'll pull out, enter 12, then enter, then come the other side and give it as that. Then I'll also launch another one from the other side, enter distance of 12, then enter, then pull it out as such. Then I'll copy or I'll move rather, I'll move this 3D solid from that particular endpoint to this point. So I press enter, then pick the base point as that point, then bring it to that endpoint of my line. Do the same for this. Move it from that particular inner point to that particular endpoint of my reference line. Then I delete this because I don't need it. 
then afterwards I'll move this as well. So I'll come to move, select the 3D object, I move it from this particular corner to that particular outer corner. Then I delete this. I'll delete these lines as well. Then um, I'll change my view. From here to hidden view, then um, as you can see, that is the object that we are supposed to uh, form. So what I need to do now is select everything, or rather come to uh, come to solid union, then select the objects that you wish to join together, which is that is the first one, three D solid, the second one. Third one and fourth one, then press enter. So as you press enter, everything will be will be joined. So uh, that is what the question wanted. Uh, for dimensions, uh, what you need to do for dimensions, uh, you just come to the annotator, then you pick uh, the linear dimension for state length. But before we do so, make sure that um, from the home, we change the view of the coordinates to the face you want to, the face you want to annotate. Let's say I want to annotate this front face. I make sure that I place my my plane here. Then I'll accept this. Then afterwards, I can come to annotate, select the annotation, then select the corner and the corner. And you can see, as you can see, you have your annotation. So I'll, uh, I'll change the plane first. So I'll place it there. Then I'll do a Y flip so that Y is Y is vertical. Then I'll accept. Then now I can come to annotate. Then select the linear annotation. Then I can now select the two points and you can have your annotation as such. Then for the other side as well, you can come to home, change the view, let's say to this side, so I can do so, uh, I'll accept. Then uh, when you come to annotate, you can do your annotation as such. So well, then I'll do it again. So come back to the home, uh, place your. So I'll do um, I'll do our an X flip as such, and also a Y flip as such. Like that, so that I have my Y on top, then X on this particular direction. Uh, a bit. So like that, so that I have my Y and X in that direction. Then I press OK. Then I can come to annotate, pick my annotation. And now, as you can see, you can, you can label those parts as you wish. So the same can also be done for. Uh, for this particular, so make sure that your x is uh, parallel to the plane that you are annotating and your y is uh, vertical to have your perfect annotations as in the question. So that is it for that particular tutorial. Uh, thank you for watching.